Hello and welcome to iRacing. Today we're in the Pro Masters. We're racing an oval at Indianapolis. How will I get on? Let's form up and find out. Okay, so it's an oval race in a Pro Mazda. This is a new one. I've qualified ninth. Um, there's, there's actually not many people who's put in a, in a time, but my car, and you can see it already, my car has no top speed. This is really, really not infuriating, but it's a bit frustrating because I've, I've, I've got the wing as practically zero. Um, I've lowered my ride height and I'm a good two seconds, two and a half seconds a lap slower than the guys at the front. So I'm going to be spending a lot more time at the back of this race, but it's an oval. Watching the practice, even in practice, people bunch up really closely and they take each other off. So let's just see how many wrecks this race produces. But th this is essentially the easiest Pro Mazda race I think I'm ever going to have to do because I'm in top speed all the way around. There's no braking involved. So. Um, yeah, let's just see what happens. It's, it's, I'm sort of excited and a little bit worried at the same time because these the Pro Mazda, I'm running a Pro Mazda with no wing. I mean, it's if I have to make any sudden movements to avoid stuff, this car is just going to crowd. So uh, there they go. Just, just a, very slowly disappearing into the distance. I'm going to have to try and look online for a setup on Shaw Kinducci Racing we've got a setup for Indianapolis. The question is am I going to have time to race this again this week before they move on tracks. Anyway I'm in the uh, I'm running Texaco Havoline IndyCar colours for this one. Very smart looking white red and black colour scheme. And there's the smoke, and there's a warning for single file. So there's a wreck, and we've well done, Matt. Good pass. Yeah, nice front. we've got a full course yellow, which means I've got to let these guys come back. The leader has right. just done a so I've got to stay behind nine. him, pacing. So this just helps us all to slow down and get our order at the point of the uh, of the incident. V16. So I qualified ninth, but there's a load of cars that didn't qualify. So as usual, I just want to finish higher than I started. I want to finish higher than ninth. Um, the I, I need a lot of cars to wreck in this, basically because there's no way I'm going to be catching up and drafting and overtaking. Anyway, oh yes, one thing you may have noticed already. Um, look, my mirrors are working. My mirrors are working. Thanks to uh, my lovely, lovely subscriber Sky Juice. Uh, he told me how to sort the mirror problem out. And now I've got mirrors, so... Um, Fantastic. Pit road is open. We are going to have to make a pit. There's not enough fuel on this car to last the whole race. So we are going to have to pit at some stage, but I don't want to pit now. Um, the gap in front is now 0.5. There's quite a few people dropping into the pits. Which means I'm going to be moving up the order automatically because I'm not going to pit yet. It's ridiculous to pit after two laps. Right, so now I've got to move all the way up to him. Just ease off. P12, you've just done a 128.8. I mean, you, you couldn't you couldn't really ask for a better race to get your safety rating up, unless you're stuck in the middle of the pack and you're bumping wheels. But for someone like me in this race, where I'm completely out of trouble, I'm going to spend most of my time at the back. And I'm just going to be moving up through gaining 
places from others' mistakes. Um, fuel, fuel. Yeah, I just need to splash. So when I come in eventually, I'll just stick in a gallon, and we won't replace any of the tyres because that's just going to take time. You want to get in and out. The tyres aren't going to suffer on this at all. Cool. Right, so there's that sort. So yeah, for someone like me, this is this is great. If you want to improve your safety rating, race this 20 times in a week. Two to green, but two laps until we go green. So we're, the gap behind is now. That was only a, like a two-car pile-up, but um, we're running so long under a safety car. This is a lovely track, I mean, it's historic, it's Indianapolis, home of the Indy 500, the Brickyard, the start-finish line has, uh, I think it's six inches of the original brick track uh, in place. You might see it flash by in a second as we go over it next to the, uh, the flag waver's rostrum, which is just about to appear on the right. Um, How many people have been on the gate yeah. In fact, here it comes. And there it goes. Car, Matt, keep pushing. We might get him back. P10, that was at uh, 2.00. Zero, zero Inside line. Seconds. So now, one to green. We're going back from single formation, which is pacing. We're now going back into our form up. So I've got to go on the inside on, as I'm in an odd numbered position. And again, as the. Uh, as the safety car pulls off, we're just all going to floor it. Every behind me is going to go past me. And we'll just see what happens. And I think this is going to be the, the story of the race, really. Foot to the floor, top speed, top gear, no braking. Somebody has a crash, everybody slows down for a few laps. I move up the rankings and then we'll see how we finish. I'm excited about my mirrors, though. It makes such a difference. I was, I was um, practicing earlier in uh, the Ferrari and the McLaren GC3 cars. I've got a, my first team endurance race this weekend coming up. So um, I'm really, really looking forward to that. I've done a special livery for the car. And the team is me and my cousin Chris, who lives in the States. And that, and that just, again, highlights how brilliant um, racing on iRacing is. You can do a team endurance event and your team doesn't even have to be within three and a half thousand miles of each other. So. Um, it's, it's just brilliant facilitation. Come on, Duarte, the anyway, here we go again. I'm going to be going nowhere. Off goes the. Do you know the pace car really whips off quickly? It's a good job he doesn't oversteer, otherwise that could be a problem. Which car comes out when the pace car crashes? Off we go. On your right, clear it's right. Easy right on the, the low line coming around this corner. Clear right. Clear to the right, car right. Hold your line. Clear right. Still right got another side. couple coming Clear past. Right. Okay. There's a lot of people up the front, very heavily bunched. Car left. Still there. I much Clear prefer right. to take the high line on the ovals in the new cars. Okay, Matt, so the next car is Chapman. Okay. My poor car. Just, I mean, I'm doing, I mean, good job I actually changed my setup from the default because the default I was getting 140 miles an hour. This is now over 150 miles an hour with all the wings basically put to horizontal. So, um, God knows what I'd have been putting in earlier. I mean, I was doing. 106, 107 seconds a lap, and the guys at the front are doing 58, 59 seconds a lap, so, you know, 10 laps should have been laps. This is a 30 lap race, so I've been three laps down just by going my fastest, which is ridiculous, to be honest. Let's just keep your eyes open, looking out for, looking out for big puffs of white smoke in the distance. OK. 
looking out for the safety car warning. It's, you know, it's just frustrating. I, I don't really know enough about springs and suspension angles and stuff to make a difference. So for me, if you want more, more speed, turn the wings down. There's a lot more to it than that. It'll come in time. I'm, I'm only sort of, I, mean, I keep having to remind myself, I'm, I'm new to this. My racing is very, very detailed as a sim. And I'm new to this. It's, it's, Oh, someone's had a swear, and that looks like a bad one. Well, how many? One, two, three. He's on his roof. Four involved, five maybe involved. That was a bad one. Anyway, we're going to be going back to single file until they can get the pace car out in front of us. And then we go back into formation. So there we go, another you bite the dust. Those people in the pits are... Nice one, Matt. This is terrific. Exactly <laughs> what we came here for. Tenth position. Sector 3 is 7.2. Pit crew the kills me. He's so funny. Just, there's no context of what's going on. <laughs> Still. Slowly moving up. Slowly moving up. I might have to take for really. Really? Did we lose a lot in that one? The actor Jacobs ahead is increasing. It's now 2.0 seconds. There is an infield to this as well. You, you can race the infield. And the infield is, is, is actually really good for an oval. And some infields are just a series of quick left right turns and then you're back on the oval for three quarters of the lap. But um, and the oval for, for Indy is, is really, really quite nice. So, I mean, it is a big oval. Let's not make any mistake about it. You can't even see the end of the straight here. We'll dive into the pits now, I think. We'll dive in now, do a quick splash and dash, and we'll get out. And I do like to just pull into my pit box and not, even though we're in a no, um, there's a zero contact zone here, so you ghost through everyone. I do prefer to pull into my pit box. I've got to keep an eye open because there's people everywhere. But this is nine laps. We're nearly, nearly at third race distance, so now's a decent time to come in for fuel. Because I only need a little bit. Keep digging? What's wrong with you, man? There he is. So let's just pull in here. Make sure I don't overshoot. Four, five, six, seven, there we go. Seven seconds for one gallon. That seems quite slow. And we're out again. One of the quirky things about um, Indy is the, the pit roads coming back onto the track. Because we get to here and then the grass disappears. You think, right, now would be a good time to join. But no, you've got to stay on the infield. You've got to stay on the apron. Then you've got to do a left. And then the grass bank will come back in. And in these cars, goodness me, if you just steer too much with no wind, you're in that grass bank. And now you join the track. So it's just a really strange coming back on. I mean, I know you're, you're accelerating up the top speed and you haven't got a corner to aim at. But if you've got low downforce... That, that extra corner to get round is, um, you know, is, well, with me, is a potential for a catastrophe, so... The captain, behind, is it's now yeah, tyres are fine, so I don't need to change tyres. Uh, fuel, hopefully we've got enough fuel for the rest of the race. Should have. Only, added, only needed to add a small bit. Somebody else diving in the pits. Okay, the pace car's out, so it's not going to be too long. One lap to green, so now I'm on the outside. Am I up, up into fourth place? Oh, heck. There's a lot of people going to be coming round before. 
So I'm, luckily, I'm, I'm on the high line, which I like being the high line. You can uh, you can just adjust your speed better on the high line. You won't need to dab the brakes or anything. Just let the, the momentum of the car and the engine braking slow you down. But um, oh crap! I didn't realise I was so near the front. Stewart has retired from the race. should really give the other drivers some sort of warning that I'm not very fast so they can just come past me easily. I'll just give them a quick transmit. 14, I, I, I don't think I'm perfectly smart here, but I need to give them a quick warning when I get them to uh, the home straight so that they know as we go to green that if they floor it, I'm flooring it, and I'm not going to be covering the speed they're covering. So I don't want to have somebody crash in behind me, like uh, Schumacher Coulthard. Was it Hungary in the rain or something? No, it was the rain somewhere. Could have been Spa. Coulthard kept on his line to minimise the, the spray to Schumacher. Schumacher went piling into the back of Coulthard, lost a wheel, and, and still managed to get back to the pits with three wheels which is just you know, give the man a medal just for that it's uh, phenomenal threw his teddies out of the pram after the race right here goes the uh, car so I should just let everybody know here we go then green 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 yeah there they go goodbye everyone Sixth place on your left. Oh, this is super on annoying, left. really. Left. Left side. I really, I, you know, I, I really must try and make the effort to do this race again with a good setup, just to see what the difference is, because they're so close at the front. All the, all the basically all that bunch in front are, are covered by you know less than a second. So that's exciting. Um, but these cars, as soon as you start to make too big a movement, that with no no ring, they're just going to spin. So lulls you into a full sense of security. Duarte Ferrari, I'm sure I've had Ferrari before in another race. May have been an endurance at Road America, I'm not sure, I can't remember. Name seems familiar, and whenever a name seems familiar to me, it's for a reason. Generally, they're driving into me or something. On ninth, so I'm. Any places I make now is a bonus. So I'm back to where I qualified from. never know what's going to happen. I mean, we're not even at, at race distance, uh, half race distance yet. We've already had two, maybe, th I can't remember, two or three stoppages already. They always seem to crash in the same place, that, that turn before the home straight. We've got another one. Another one. There's me saying they only crash at the other end, but I'll pick my way through this. Oh, he's gone, he's gone, he's got no front to his car. Another, another, another yellow! It's just incredible, another yellow flag. Um, still not even half paced. This is supposed to be like a 30 minute race, 32 laps, th uh, 30 minutes. And this is going to take an hour at least to get round to it. Because we're going to be doing about another three laps under a full course yellow, so. Oh man. You see, the thing, the thing about over racing 
is that if you're all bunched up, going around a very, very tight banked oval, the car is naturally going to want to move to the outside. And if the car on the outside has taken account of this, and it's already a counter steering to the inside, the pink in the middle, the bottom, if you're that close, you've all got to be counter steering at the same time, otherwise there's going to be contact and there's going to be spins and there's going to be wrecks. There's, there's no braking zone on, a, on an oval like there is on the road for overtakes. You've just got to think about the draft and then think about the car's momentum and all the centripetal force pushing the car. So it's, oh, it's, it's, it's there's a lot of mathematics in racing on ovals. It just looks like you're going around in a circle, but there's so much more to it than that. Pit roads open. Who's going in this time? Another few die. Oh, there's a few like hovering. Are they going or not? No, it's coming back out. Look, I was going in. No, I've tricked you. I'm coming out. Okay. Come on, Matt. Good stuff. Keep it coming. So. We're almost at race distance. How much have we covered under yellow flags? It, we must have covered probably about half of the race so far under this yellow flags. Keep banging out them lap times. P4, that lap was at so I'm P4 again. Okay, so single file, then I'm back up on the outside again, which is handy. But, um, God, there's so many who are going to be dropping out of this. It's unreal. Randy Post, there's a good, good American race driving name. I mean, this is this has been this has been good. I'm mean, I'm enjoying it, not for the right reasons. I'm I'm moving up places, but I'm I'm am slower than the pace car. If I was to race the pace car, the pace car would leave me leave me for dust. But uh, the gap to Chapman ahead is now one point zero. Yeah, this is all right. As as far as difficult races go, this is not one of them at all. Even if I was a bit faster, this is still not a difficult race. As long as you can stay out of trouble. So coming back round the t end of the track, getting back in towards the home finish straight in the next corner. going in mate or not? No. You think they'd put something on the front of that pit wall on the right as well. It's, it's just painted white and the pit wall on the left is painted white. So you think you'd put something on it just to warn people that, you know, touch this bit. This is mad. So many crashes. Is, is Danica okay, Patrick in this race? Home. Plenty of fuel. You've just done a Max Verstappen didn't realise they were on the on the on the grid for this one. Yeah, it's four, four minutes of repair, repaired, and eighteen options. It's gonna be so bad. Ferrari is gaining on you. The gap's now 0.6. I can't believe it. Um, Don't sweat it, crew chief. Minutes. He's gonna gain. Oh, we're finally, we're finally over halfway through the race. Miracle of miracles. So this is what the fourth, fourth yellow flag. We we have spent over half the race. I'm behind a pace car, which is staggering, really, for any race, let alone pro Mazdas. It's staggering. Look at all these fans who've come here to witness the racing and all they've seen is formation lap after formation lap. Okay. What is that yellow car doing? What's the yellow car doing? Oh, behind me. Duarte. I see Duarte Ferreira. I said that his, his name, only the ones who are fairly reckless ring a bell. And behind me is 
he looks in my mirrors, he's, he's weaving up and down like he, uh, there's, there's no point in getting you don't need to get bundles of heat in your oh, tyres, it's going to make no difference You're, we're not on a road course we're at a fairly decent speed two to green, so it's madness all he's doing there is risking spinning out or taking somebody else out and I think the other racers behind him are realising this <clears throat> right, so last lap under the uh, safety car, back out to fourth position again. 159.9. See, 159. That's ridiculous. It's taking us twice as long to get round. This race is going to take forever. It's just crazy. Absolute craziness, this race. Has he stopped weaving? Yes, yeah, for the time being, by the look of it. Now that everybody's got to go into their grid formations, he's slowed down a bit. Okay, Matt, stay close. Well, is he actually? Just out of the corner of my eye, he just disappears and look, it's in my left. That's madness, you don't need to do that here. You totally don't need to do that here. I'm sure. I'm sure he's, he's collected me in a, a GT3 race. Here we come. One more corner to the start, finish straight, and then I go backwards again. go. And off they go. <sighs> off we go. What I really don't want to happen is some, it's like if there's a wreck like now and it's right in front of me, that would be fatal. Even trying to avoid that would be fatal. Okay, Matt, don't let this guy distract you. One side. Now we go. Is that everyone? That's everyone. Well, my poor car just hit its limit and then just gagging a bit and then going on again. Where am I? No, I'm not fifth. Come on, stand in. Let's keep up. I'm amazed at how many crashes we've had because, I mean, statistically, just the law of averages, every time we're crashing, we're taking out about three or four drivers. There can't surely be that many people left to hit for the guys in the front. So Duarte Ferreira is now at the front. It's going to be just by hundreds of a second, if that. Yeah, thousands of a second, maybe, you know? Hundreds? Thousands. It's, and so the lead is going to change so much, I don't get it. Why? Uh, I don't know. Crazy guys. Crazy guys. Well, we're into the 20s for the lap, so we're coming up to 10 laps to go. Uh, yeah, should be okay. Should be okay. Looking at the fuel. This might actually turn into a repeat of my GT3 endurance race at Road America where I spent so much time calculating how much petrol made a very slight adjustment in the pit lane just to add 0.2 of a gallon more and it's a good job I did because I ended up 
running out of fuel as I cross the finishing line with a car behind me trying to fight for position. So that was uh, that was really tense and nervous and scary and exciting and exhilarating all in one. Really got to concentrate on getting my fuel calculations correct on my uh, endurance race this weekend. Anyone crashing? Matt was out 101.762 is 1.4 seconds off the pace. Alright Matt, your next car is Cooper. Well it is and it isn't crew chief. Are we actually going to get a run all the way to the end now? So I'm on 7th. 7th, ok. Well I'm, I'm, definitely, <laughs> I'm definitely finishing higher than I qualified. So the, the aim of the race is always finish higher than you qualify. Um, that is going to happen unless anything ca catastrophic like me switching off and driving into a wall or the grass or losing fuel or whatever. But it would be nice if we can just get to the end of the race. Here. Although, to be fair, with only six cars in front of me, another three or four car pile up wouldn't go and miss right now. But there should be so much space for them to move around up there. That last lap was at 101.6, Ten laps. Off the pace. So ten minutes, theoretically, until the end of this race. I'm not going to get lapped, which is good. So just keep concentrating and look out for safety cars and white smoke. It must only be an extra four or five miles an hour that you can ring out of this car. Such fine margins. Oh, I've got to try and remember to do my Formula Renault. I haven't done a Formula Renault this week. I started one and it, 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 I, I racing them kicked everybody out after about six laps for scheduled maintenance. And, it's the only thing really about, apart from pricing, it's anything I don't like about iRacing is their, their persistent scheduling of races and allowing everybody to join and start racing if they know they're going to be shutting the service down. Just put a big notice on the schedule saying there's no racing because we're doing maintenance. Crazy. Those guys at the front who are battling away in that Formula Renault race and they're thinking, oh, I could be on for a race victory and suddenly find themselves disconnected. Bit of a joke, really. Anyway, Derek's now in the lead. Duarte's dropped down to fourth, but they're all within a second of each other. So that that race lead must be, you know, can change all the time. And if you, the place you don't really want to be is at the front because you've got no drafting. You want to be second or third coming into the last three or four laps so that you can build up momentum and get in position to make a move. doing 57s, 58s, 59s and I'm not even getting under a minute. Still. At least I haven't crashed it. I really need to get my safety rating back up. It took a, I had one day and uh, I had really a lot of collisions. Drivers sort of rejoining the track at ridiculous places and not looking and other cars being shunted into my path as they were hit by a car going past and one guy coming off and coming over braking and coming back on T-boning me into a barrier. Just crazy. Every every time I, I did a race in one particular day, it was, it was just carnage. And some days are like that, you just have to sit and think, oh well, let's not race anymore today. It's obviously silly season. So we come back the next day and the next day was fine. You know, the damage is done, literally, your, your, your safety rating is taken a hit. 
consistency. Keep it <laughs> consistency. You're, you're consistently slow, and this is good. This is crew chief. It's my, I hope my fuel lasts. I can't see a problem like the Road America situation a few days ago, but you never know. The next car is Jacobs. I'm not going to be catching up to Jacobs unless he's decided to throw half of his gears away. This is amazing. It's the longest spell we've had without any sort of incidents at all. And as we've only got about five, five, six laps left, I can't see, unless in the last couple of laps, because they're all so close, unless somebody's going to do something, they're going to make a challenge and try and get the win, take a risk. Let's see who's got who's got the minerals. Oh the last the last Pro Master one of the races that I that did me harm was the last Pro Master round at Okayama. Okayama's got two specifically um, virtually 90 degree turns and Pro Mazdas do not like 90 degree turns, five laps to go. Five laps to go, five laps of fuel, gulp. Oh god, let's see if that pans out then. I hope there is a, a crash actually because I haven't seen any other cars for ages and the, the, the pace lap seems to be the only time we actually see other people so it'd be nice and I'm getting a bit lonely now. Four laps left, four laps of fuel. Oh, woof, this is going to be... Okay, why don't you just in inject a little bit of unnecessary tension into the proceedings? It's, it's got it's got to last. I mean, there's no... With, the, with the, the, the GT3 race, I had to start in the last lap, I had to start a coast into some corners instead of coming heavy on the brakes. And uh, when you've got a guy who's only a second behind you, you, you don't want to start doing that. But I managed to stay in front of him, and it was, it was just so funny. The car was spluttering as I was coming across the finish line, and, it, and then about 10 metres past it, it just died, came to a stop. So it was inch perfect, really. Duarte Ferrer still at the front, 18,000 for the second. Second. Guy behind his captain, Chapman, is now in the lead. Guys behind his captain. Oh, you've got to love it. You've got to love it. Someone was saying something. Please let that be somebody going into a wall. Doesn't look like it though. That's a shame. Two litres remaining. Two laps to go. Yes. No. Two and a bit laps to go. No, I'm going to be okay. Two laps to go. Two laps of three laps of fuel. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Okay, that's okay. Two laps, two laps of fuel. Two laps left. 
just done a 101.5. Good consistency. Keep them coming. Terrible. One and a half seconds off what would be average. Oh, Freire is coming in the pits. Has he run out of petrol? One lap to go. Am I actually going to gain another place? Surely not. Am I going to gain another place? This would be crazy if I gain another place. Can't I get past the pits before he gets out? So he's got to come in, slow down, trundle along, stop, have fuel put in, trundle out, and he's got to use the whole of the pit lane to join the race. So he can't hit top speed. Remaining. One more lap. Okay, here we go then. One more lap to go. That was a 101.6. Sectors 2 and 3 are 1.0 seconds off the pace. You're a second off the pace in sector 1. This is the last so lap. three seconds a lap down, that's what it's saying. Okay, man, the next chief. car is Jacobs. Incredible. got to be ahead of Duarte by now. This is, got, this is going to be a sixth place finish. Oh, they've, they've disconnected, so... Everybody's finished who's managed to survive. So am I coming across in sixth or in fifth? It's got to be sixth. The sixth, sixth or seventh, it's got to be sixth. He's behind me. Anyway, here we go. Across the start finish line, I've got virtually no fuel left. V6. Six. Well done. Oh, and he stopped, and there you go. Look, see. Oh, that's the only incident point I've got in the race. That'll give me a plus two. Anyway, let's have a look at the final positions. Qualified ninth. Spent all my time at the back, and I'm finishing sixth. If it's everything's there to believe. There we go. Thanks for watching.